Hi guys, I received this in the mail yesterday, and it's not quite on screen, is it? Never mind. <laughs> um, it was from an eBay who not only have I purchased quite a few lamps from over this past year, but he's also sent me. I think this is the third lamp for free. Now, he contacted me to let me know on eBay that the lamp was coming. But he sent it because I've got this one, which is an older version. It's got a different bolt, as you can see. This has got the standard JSP triangular bolt. This one's got a different one. I think this one might be an older version, or it could be the newer version. I'm not sure, but when you turn them upside down and look underneath, not only has it got a different bolt, it's got this. This one doesn't have that. It's got the two sort of plastic lips either side to support the battery, not a, a metal bracket. And, uh, this one has, it's been in the wars a little bit. It's got a nice large crack in there and the lens has faded. It's not as orange as the other one. Um, but other than that, oh no, oh, I have just noticed something else that's different. This has got this little lug here on either side with a rivet through it. This one doesn't have those. But other than that, um, they are pretty much identical. I'm going to presume this one is a slightly older version. That one might be like the Mark II or something, you know, where they revised a couple of things. Uh, it doesn't actually have a date on it. It has got some numbers down there, though. I can't quite read them in this light. Reg something. Anything on the other side, or is it just a sound? Oh, it's just a sound. This has actually got it written in full, Johnstone Safety Products, not JSP for sure. That one's actually got JSP on it. Plasti Flash, JSP Limited, Oxford, England. And a fax number. Don't the fax number still works? It might, but I doubt it. <laughs> they do work. Both work fine. This one's in far better condition. But, uh, it is just a two-piece plastic moulding. You can see the seam along there. And you can see where it mates up there. So, thanks. I've now got two. Uh, and you have to say, I think I like this one better. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because this one's in better condition. But for some reason, I don't know if this bolt has been changed at some point. Or if it did come with that style bolt, I'm not sure. But that's what it came with when I bought it, anyway. Uh, should we turn it on? I have to get one of my um, Torx bits to poke in the hole. And I've got it around the right way. I don't know why. For some reason, if I leave that, that will start flashing. I think there might be a um, dodgy component on the circuit, so... Ooh, that's not very bright either. That's a brand new battery. I don't matter, I can sort that out. Yeah. I think I've got a bit of a... dodgy connection or dodgy component on the flash circuit there, that's alright. I can change them, I know how to use a soldering iron. Well, it flashes if you do that. Is it going to work? No, it's going to stop again. I did leave this for a while yesterday and it did start to flash properly.
if it's been stored for a while that might be the reason as well but uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn the light back on and I'm going to take the bolt out of this and what I'm going to do I'm actually going to slide you all the way back there yeah the other lamp doesn't want to play ball now <laughs> it don't matter like I said I can fix it Actually, if I just put the battery in this to show you what that one does, that'll give me a chance to get the circuit out of this one and just have a look. See if I can see an obvious issue in there. But it doesn't want to work. That's a, very, that's a fully charged good battery as well, that one, so I know that's not the problem. Let's just rotate that. Just go in like that. Rotate the metal bit around. I'll hold that in. Where's this thingy? Hmm. Let's turn the light off. How's that shut? Quite a fast flash on that one. It's probably being a bit dodgy because uh, I haven't got the bolt in. I'm sure, I've got another six volt battery somewhere kicking around. Right now, somehow, it says. Quick look in here. I might figure out how you get the circuit board out. You must be able to get it out because uh, you got to change your blobs. Yeah, so I'm thinking I've got to get that out at an angle somehow. Is it flexible? If I pull on it, will it flex enough for me to get it out? I'm going to trap my fingers in it though. Come on, you 24 carat bitch, get out of there. Ah, there we go. I, don't know. I figured it out. Here. Solder joints are looking okay. Just to find a little screwdriver, I'll check the switch button. Right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, I'm going to leave that bolt out. It might stand on the shelf a bit better. Okay. It's definitely something to do with the circuit. Because it's every time I tap that. Can't... Can't physically see anything loose. There's an extra long bit of wire there they forgot to snip off. It's not even on a proper circuit board, that's just a square bit of plastic with some holes drilled into it. It's all bridged on the other side. <laughs> yeah. well, actually, the solder joints look pretty good. Mm, 
I would probably say it's one or both of the transistors are a little bit dodgy. just for now as well. Right. Hmm. Come to think of it, there ain't a lot of juice in that battery, I just stuck it on my tongue. This one work. Right, that is it. Ah, that was my elbow. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video. Thanks again to the eBay seller that sent me this. It's awesome. I'm not worried about that circuit too much, I'll fix that another day. If I can be bothered. <laughs> anyway, again, thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye!